I'm guessing like like um this is something that like just came to me. It's like Tommy went to the hospital to like check to see if Michael will actually tell him. Like she knows Polly. It's like Tommy knows Polly is setting up uh, my boy, but she just went to check to see if Michael is down for the family. Or he's like, bro, wait, what are you, what are you doing? But he's talking about going to leave Thomas for last, but you know, working with the crew. And my boy, my boy driving there with the Bentley, the Russian mobile. No, that's what the Russian behind Bentley. Bentley's not Russian. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> my boy gave Lewis machine gun arm. Um, um, oh, that's the DP. 28. Oh, is it Lewis? Bro, that's a DP. Oh, it's late to me. Wait, why are they think I again we're alive? Why? This is we're going this is the um this is the grease no, this is not a grease gun. The MP40. Ooh, mommy! Come on, Tommy! Tommy, get your out of here! Think he run? He think he actually run? Oh! <laughs> I never been in no army. You've never been in the army before. See, I don't even know how to freaking put down work. Everyone, stay indoors. Stay down. By order of the Peaky Blinders. By order of the Peaky Blinders. He ain't gonna shoot him. T Bro. You not just no haste the indoors. Come here. This fucking kid. That pick that and the pick the always I get always I get fucking thing in a trouble or no. Where did he go? Which way? Yeah. Which way did he go? Upstairs. No. You lying. Sure. Ambush. Red right hand. Oh, no, yeah. oh, no, yeah. How the fuck we get it? How you get him cornered in your own place? How you could corner something? You cannot corner a rat inside your own freaking house, dad. Ooh. And he look like Danny. I'ma shoot a wounded. He's a bro. He's a about what? <laughs> and he must be shooting a wounded man. Is the same wounded man that's get up and kill you? Toby. I know you own the cops in this dirty fucking town. But you're gonna be dead before they get here. Come on, me and you, Tommy. You doing Tommy? Come on. You doing Tommy? I don't need that dog. Says it's yours. Padre me. Padre me. Stamani. Saving your life. Bro. Always. I'm a police officer, Tommy. Tell the people who live in these houses that they are free to go about their lawful business. Tell them that the rule of law has been restored. Bro, he done. Yeah, Polly, we don't know you can't set up Tommy. Can't set up Tommy. She loves your family too much. What do you think you're going to tell Arthur? It's the only truth. Bro, he ain't even he ain't even bring them inside. He, he fight, uh, and it's like if he had them, you know he woulda. If he had them, you know he woulda destroy freaking Luke and them. But he just not be walking them in a trouble. Like, at least, like attempt to actually lose another brother again. Oh, my boy, what the fuck? Oh, this is Arthur. Tonight, Tom. We all heard yeah. shooting in Artillery Square. Yeah, there was Artillery Square. I suppose they. Uh, Suppose they took you by surprise, did they? No, I knew they were coming. Yeah, he set up the whole thing. I knew that Luca would want to pull the trigger himself. So he used the setup as bait to bring him in. 
You're a fucking idiot, Tom. So you got three? Yeah, I got three. <laughs> well, I'll drink to you, Tom, you mad bastard. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. I hope you put nigga turn out. I hope you put nigga turn out like Tommy. Blah 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 blah. Hey Tommy, guys, it's by Choda. Choda, we get a hanger. Get a close hanger. Call it out. I don't drink whiskey or gin anymore, Tom. Why not? <laughs> Weed. Does they say it harms the baby? <laughs> what? Yes, it can only be yours. All right, I know a woman, is it? No, lots of women, Tommy. If you don't know this already, you don't know me. I'm keeping it. Hmm. You better put a fucking hundred in the paper then. <clears throat> Not laid up yet. I'm not going to work with a child of mine, it's out of here. Fuck, now my hand shakes. Yeah, that's the way, this is Arthur telling me he was going to get. It's okay, Tom. After killing somebody. We'll be okay. She changed for that. And what do you mean, boy? You and me together forever. You got an allowance. Every week from the company. Come on, I'll drive you home. <laughs> oh, she she actually thought two of them could have lived together forever. Psych! <laughs> He's like Chagreta. She's like Chagreta. Oh shit! I don't know what to expect. I thought we had to. I'm just looking. Ah, uh, I thought. I think you kill yourself, or no? Why? Boy, can go. Boy, can he go destroy Linda? Fuck. Linda. Arthur, you scared me to death. Come to bed, Arthur. Yeah, get fed up now. I'll show you what you like. I'm coming, boys. Mikey. No fucking way. You've never eaten hedgehog, Michael. Hedgehog? <laughs> I'm getting back in this car. Michael, we followed the patron and the crows. And if anyone should come for you, Michael, the Palmers and the Boswells will put up a fair fight. Fucking witches, the lot of them. <laughs> Show some respect, Mr. Gray. They've agreed to welcome you on account of your blood. Hmm. Shelby. Shelby blood. Where well, yeah, set up. Michael, guys, set up them. Michael is going Might to sabotage them. Yeah, tell them your grandmother was a gypsy princess. Name of Birdie Boswell. Birdie Boswell. Your royalty up there, Michael. Is that true, Mrs. Gray? Mm hmm. What? Don't I look like royalty? Well, now that you mention it, you do. Do you know a longer way back, Mr. Gold? Do you walk? I know a ways back. It would take forever. I send away. Your Majesty. He knows how he, he knows how his back that will take forever. Polly wants some pipe. Polly, you always want pipe. Rabbit. Wabbit. It's a wabbit season. No, it's dark season. You smoke, I'm 16 again. <laughs> Polly, Polly, flexible in her ass, too, boy. You know, when the police were after him, my dad used to take us out. Do you have a sharp knife? Boy. Boy, I think he boy, he's a hollow to punk. He look, he look a sharp knife right here. Your wife's often around you. She watches you. She watching me now. Boy, you know what you watch, you know? What are you going to do? I believe it's you who's kept Tommy Shelby alive all these years. So what do you think? We've kept each other alive. That's how you go. First, I thought it was madness, but no. When you put your head out of that window, you can do anything you want. Now give me the knife. Let me stab your foot, yeah. Boy! I can do whatever I want. Whenever the mood takes me. And you are a strong, handsome man. 
And this is a beautiful place in the world. And it is this time. We're probably going to kill the next one. Let me make one thing clear, Mr. Gold. I just gave Michael a little speech about how no one would know where to find him. But you'd know how to get him. Do you understand? Hmm. Oh, I understand. <laughs> Poor of a woman, man. Don't you think any more? It's for ghosts, you are. Sabri. You boy have lyrics, too. Ghosts. Holly has the charm. She knows how to use the charm of a woman. Solomon. Alfie. Mr. Solomons. The chairman of the board recommends that those of us who are blessed with the gift of sight and uh, that we spend you know, at least half an hour of our day with our eyes closed so that we may, well, that we may better understand the... Uh, the darkness. I love good Chang Rana. Oh yeah, I know who you are. Mm. You're a bit of a failure, aren't you? Why? You come all the way over here to this country in order to kill Toby Shelby, but I mean, I have a proposition for you. Mm, yeah, it's right. I already know what you want. Yeah, but I just want to hear you say it out loud, so I can check how ridiculous it is. You know what I say? You were a smart guy. I mean, <laughs> you already know what we want before we say it. That's funny, because now I believe I know what you want. The exit is still out there, right? On Body Street. Yeah? Say so they run my room or you have no <laughs> deal. You fucking crazy, you know that? <laughs> Don't worry, because I've broken it down here. And a uh, list of costs pertaining to the assassination of a dear friend. All right. Now, your normal dispatch, then I need you to put another oh, fee on top of that because his brother is a fucking animal and he will come after me. Okay. And then you will need to put another 100 on top of that because, well, you are a fucking wop, mate. Why? Tell you. <laughs> and you. Know like the Italian. And then we have to deal with the argument. clear of. Mr. Solomon, I'm going to be very fucking clear with you. I don't need you to kill anybody. I have people that I trust, okay? So you're going to take my boys and you're going to bring them to the ring in seconds. Well, in order to qualify as my seconds, right, they would first have to qualify as being Jewish. Yeah. Oh, fuck. A lot of the, uh, you know, the Jewish people say, uh, <laughs> having a, having a pass of some sort of Italian. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, you will have to add another ton onto your bill. Fuck. For being a cunt, mate. Oh, shit. All right. Hey, man, basically, I tell them, bro, me not do nothing to you. You will bring my men to Birmingham. Any other requests, huh? 200 fucking barrels. We have a deal. Ah. Yeah, Tommy Shelby was right about you, wasn't he? Yeah, I can hear him. Solomon. And to kill us all. So, so Alfie, Alfie, that, everything what Alfie been be doing him there is just basically telling him, yo, I ain't gonna walk with you. She was armed when we picked her up, sir. She Shut. was strip searched her. That'll be all. Yes, sir. I apologize, Miss Shelby. I have a dossier on each member of your family. I know your family's extraordinary history. <laughs> Fuck you. May I turn? Not unless you want to get blinded. Why? From I'm what? I'm sorry. This has got off to a bad start. Blinded from what? What is this? Her fantastic Three days ago, you were body. A meeting for the Stetford in Communist light. Party. Ada Shelby. Person of interest and under the surveillance and special branch since you joined the Birmingham Communist Party in Spies. June 1919. Wow. Let me explain it to you. I'm no longer a member of the Communist Party because I'm no longer a believer in the cause of socialism. Now open that door. So, in the past, you were blinded by love. Magic no. Thorn. Blinded by faith. 
So you've arrested me because I had a drink with Jesse Eden. Whiskey with ice for you and a beer for her. Wow. Spice. You must understand that these are extraordinary times. Wait, shut General up. strike is set. Attempted revolution, perhaps. Soldiers on the streets very soon. They're already drilling. A woman with her foot in both camps. It's potentially very useful. Do I become useful to who? What? <laughs> Hey, that come Maybe spy. you should ask your brother Thomas. Are you seeing him? him? Are you seeing people never with Tommy being proposition. make a deal with when when Tommy was telling him people are gonna come first. They're gonna take. Much, uh, Bye. The arrest was all the neighbors would see and word would go around. Younger is all right. And how is Tommy Shelby OBE going to stop a revolution? Jesse Egan has accepted my invitation to dinner. Oh, it's of course, I'm sorry. Tommy Shelby is going to stop the revolution with his cock. Yep. Very much so. It's not her the military are interested in, it's the people around her. If I get Jesse Eden's trust, she gives me the names of the instigators. And then man wipe them out. I'll give them up to the Crown Forces. And they take Tommy. them to the fuck out. Tommy, sweetheart. There'll be no strikes in your factory because Jesse Eden will be in your bed. <laughs> That's it. There's no revolution for him and them. Tommy, this can only happen if you're still alive. Are you going to help me or not? Why? Well, they want music, Charlie. We have that gramophone we found abandoned inside that gentleman's car. No, they don't. Tommy said they're here to talk. <laughs> sure. I talk with a plank. Pum pum and body guy talk. Jesse? This is my uncle Charlie and my brother Kelly is. This is actually lovely. We were just wondering if you'd like some music. No, we won't. Actually, Jesse likes some music. Don't go to yeah, me. she was dancing. Kelly, Kelly's in trouble. Must have some trouble, Kelly. <laughs> don't really drink gin. And you're perfect. My gin is for women that don't really drink gin. Your gin? Yeah. Let's drink to something. To the revolution. The revolution. What revolution? The next 300 years? Right, well, since I invited you for dinner, I thought I'd cook. And all I have to do in return is tell you everything I know about socialism. That's what your sister said. When I study a horse race, I study form. And on the other horse, the one that wants to beat the king's horse. So I invited you here for dinner. Because you know people. People that want to make this fight real. Your concern is that if the unthinkable happened, you would find yourself on the wrong side of the barricades. Mm, that was she think. Well, as you can see, <laughs> my natural side of the barricades. And that's why he names and names so you can get rid of them. Now. Man I love couldn't speak when he got back. Not one word. Shell shocked. I've said very few true words since. Hmm. You've never been a friend to the government. They've used you. And I imagine you have found out already that no amount of money allows you to pass through the steel sheets that separate class from class. A man like you would terrify them. I'm betting them what they do. She, she wants Tommy to come over. But I changed the odds. <laughs> Tommy, <You> what? Think? <laughs> it wouldn't. I can't defeat the government. Wound up, Tom. Um, you just put the lead on and let us see. You cannot defeat the government. I mean, it can, like, if, like, the entire, entire civilization decides to just say, well, yeah, we're going to just fuck up everything, but other than that, it's, ready? it's nearly impossible. It's eight before we dance, shall we? And I could never understand why people like us only had bread and fucking lard. But bread and lard? When I showed you that photo of Greta de Rossi, your face changed. Greta de Rossi. She wanted everything to be different. The whole world. As do I. Right, fast or slow? Let's be slow. Let's just sit, I'm drunk. Time to dance. Come on. I mean, Tommy is a... He's a... He's a freaking smart guy. And I knew he could come up with some way to, like... You know, at least put up a fight against <laughs> Churchill or whoever mm. this and that. But bro, it's nearly impossible for anything to work, man. 
Soon. The uh, room is uh, clean, Mr. Shelby. Right. Lock it all down. All right, boys, lock it down. Alfie, Alfie, and Alfie. Bro, what the fuck? Watch out, bloody boy, get it. Bring out that fucking tiger, eh? Go on. Nah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bonnie. Mr. Shelby will give you a 20% cut if you put Goliath down in the fourth round. Lizzie. Lizzie is in here, girl family. In the hills. With Tommy. Yeah, man, the, man, the man was, what, what, what do I have to do to get a woman like that? Gotta do what Tommy does. What Tommy did say, I'm just the example of what a working class man is capable of. Alfie! Don't oh, tell me you set up, my boy. Oh, fuck your episode done. Ah! Yeah, another phenomenal episode, man. Bro, <laughs> bro, don't we see all this freaking, you see how like corrupt, everything just get corrupt. It's like corruption, corrupt, all kind of dotish, you know, some melee country, all kind of freaking stupid is just happening. Jesse basically wants Tommy on her side because she sees Tommy as a prospect if Tommy, bro, if Tommy can survive this long while like walking a business dealing with people dealing with all of this with the government and all of that but it's like bro Tommy don't know like the government they bought and the government is who like basically rule everything yeah but we should have 90% of people and then go out and just mash up everything but no no but that that is what like, has to happen you know but did Alfie sell out Tommy nah I don't think Alfie did it. Alfie don't see himself. You all are here to kill us all. Why would he freaking set? Unless he... <laughs> yeah. Don't see how it goes. He don't see how it goes. But he did a fight out in the season, um, season finale between Chang Greta and Tommy. So, you don't know anything, good people. Large up yourself. Bless up yourself. Until the next episode, my peoples. Have a wonderful day. Be good. Stay safe. Peace out.